Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. So we have a slot machine, and it's got three wheels, and each wheel has the digits 0 through 7. So I'm going to write this down. That means there are eight digits in total, right? Includes 0. So 0 through 7, that's eight different digits. If you spin any twice, you win $52. So spin uh, twice a digit twice and you get $52. I usually write these steps out to focus. Then it says if all wheels match, you win 8,305. In our case, that means you spin a digit three times. Spin digit three. Can I write thrice? It's kind of fun to write. Spin digit thrice, you win 8,305. Okay, and we want to know what the fair price would be. So that, that means the expected value is zero. Fair, how much uh, should players play so that over time neither the house or the players have an advantage? How do we do that? Let's look at the, the thrice, the three in a row, right? So there's a one eight, let's say I'm looking at spinning sevens, right? There's a one eighth chance of spinning a seven on the first try, a one eighth on the second try, and a one eighth on the third try. So just four sevens. There's an eighth times an eighth times an eighth chance of that happening. But this is for all of the digits, and there are eight in total. So I'm going to multiply that by eight, right? There are eight different ways. So you can get all sevens or all, or all eights or, no, not all eights, excuse me, it's, it's digits zero through seven. So you can get all sevens or all zeros or all ones or all twos or all threes and so on and so forth. And saying or... Reminds me that it's got to be one or the other. It's mutually exclusive. And I add those probabilities. So instead of adding one eighth cubed eight times, I multiply it by eight. So this condenses, uh, excuse me, this is going to be multiplied by the weight of that winning. And this is going to reduce a little bit nicely here. This is one over eight squared times 8,305. So it's 8,305 over eight squared. Now, with doubles, though, there are different ways of getting doubles, and one nice way that I like to count this is just say I can get a win, a win, and a loss. So I'm calling those two wins like a, that's a match, essentially. Two in a row. So win, loss, win. Uh, that works, right? So I'm going to get doubles there, and then lose, win, win. Now, if you don't like that way of counting, maybe that's not the most efficient. You can write it in a different way. You can just pick any number. Let's start with sevens again. You get a seven and a seven, and then um, I keep wanting to say eight. You get a seven and a seven and a zero. That would be a double. You can get uh, a seven, zero, seven. That's a double. Or a zero, seven, seven. So there are three ways. And in general, you could look at uh, these lists of ways to win by using a combination. In this case, it's all the ways out of three wheels that two match. So there are three ways for any digit to win. So I'm going to take three times, what's the probability of getting doubles? Well, in the first spot, I'm going to say, you look at any particular number, it's an eighth. Then you're going to get a match, another eighth. Then you're not going to get a match. So it's got, there's seven other digits that remain. And this is going to be multiplied by eight. Because again, it's for all of the digits. And that's going to be multiplied by the weight of the winning, which is $52. So again, there's some reductions here. And we get 3 times 7 over 8 squared times 52. Or in this case, that's going to be 3 times 7 times 52 over 8 squared, right? So, so here we want to account for this, and this will tell us on average, in total, what do we expect to win? We have the doubles winnings, we have the triples winnings. Let's add it together, and that will tell us, on average, what we should charge to keep this game fair. So 3 times 7 times 52 is 1,092 over 64. 8 squared is 64. is about 17. I'm sorry, I can't show my calculator on the screen right now. But this is about 17. And now we want to go over here, and it's 8,305 divided by 64. It's about 129.7. We add up those two, and we get 146.83. So 146.83. Now, that's just saying that 
on average, over a long period of time playing this game, we expect players to win about that much per game. So you want to charge that much so things kind of even out. Obviously, the house would charge charge a lot more for this slot machine, right? So that uh, ultimately they win, even though some people will walk away big winners at the expected values in their favor. But if the expected value... Uh, is 146.83, and that's what you charge, it's then essentially a fair game. No one really gets ahead. All right, I hope that helped.